In the Parsha of Chukat, the Torah records the death of Aharon, Moses' brother, the Kohen Gadol. And the Torah tells us, The nation mourned for Aaron for 30 days. Immediately thereafter, the Torah tells us, the very next verse, Vayishma HaKnani Melech Arad, the Canaanite king of Arad, heard of this and attacked the Jewish people. And the obvious question that our sages ask is, what is the connection between the death of Aharon and this attack? Now, rabbis explain that in order to understand this, we need to understand the role that Aaron played, and now that he was no longer part of the Jewish people, what caused this problem? Aaron was known, as we are told in Pirkei Avot, as Ohev Shalom, Vorodev Shalom. He was a lover of peace and a pursuer of peace. Those are two very different things. It's easy to love something. It's another thing to pursue it. Aharon not only loved peace, but we are told that he went out of his way to create peace between people who had faribles with each other, between husband and wife. This was an important aspect of Aharon's existence. Now that Aharon had died, this idea of trying to create peace between people had departed. And now there was an explosion, so to speak, of arguments between people and of machloket. Since there was this explosion of machloket, Hashem distanced himself from the Jewish people. And our rabbis explain that the clouds of glory that were protecting the people during the lifetime of Aaron disappeared. When the Canaanite king realized that the clouds of glory were no longer protecting Bnei Israel, he realized that without Hashem's protection, the nation were once again very vulnerable. And it is therefore at this point in time that he attacked the Jewish people. I think the lesson for us is very, very clear. Sometimes we do not realize how much we depend on Hashem's benevolence. We take so much for granted. However, the lesson that we learn from this week's Pasha is not to do that. To realize that Hashem looks after us all the time. And in order to make sure that Hashem's presence is always amongst us, we have to go out of our way to make sure that we conduct ourselves in a proper way in order to make sure that Hashem's protection is always with us. One area in life in particular that is so important is the area of interpersonal relationships. We are all born from one God, and therefore in a certain sense, we are all related to each other. And it's important to always treat each other with respect. And hopefully by doing that, we will continue to ensure that Hashem's presence will always be amongst us. Take the opportunity of wishing you all Shabbat Shalom.